Hi, my name is Ant Funding, and welcome to my new project, Ant Funding a Week. The purpose of this project is for me to keep a record of my rise through the PhD experience, navigating cricket and national identity. Each week I'm going to tell a short story or give a brief overview of something interesting I've dug up in my research. And at the end of each video, I'm going to give you a tip on something I've found useful that's helped me with my PhD. So if you're interested in cricket, culture, or you're also doing a PhD, I hope that there may be something in this for you. Now I'm going to start off by apologising for the low-fi quality of this initial broadcast. I've been putting off starting this project for about a month while I waited for the time to book the University Media Lab, do a professional looking recording, and edit into something that I'd be proud of. But in a month, I'd actually done nothing, so I decided to strike while the motivation iron was hot and produce something, which is always better than nothing, at least for someone at the beginning of a project. This week's story comes courtesy of H.M. Heinzman, English writer and poet who lived between 1842 and 1921. Heinzman was the founder of the Social Democratic Federation in the United Kingdom and also the UK National Socialist Party, who have nothing to do with the Nazis and are on the opposite end of the political spectrum and eventually were absorbed by the UK Labour Party. But anyway, Heinzman had an indistinguished career in cricket playing for Cambridge and Sussex. The moment I want to share to you comes from a game against the gentleman of Gloucestershire, where he was bowling to the formidable W.G. Grace, one of the biggest names in the history of cricket. Grace, facing his first ball, logs Heinemann's delivery towards the player in the field, who put it down. He then went on to make 278. The reason I chose this story is because my PhD tip for the week is to take your opportunities. Now, at my university, La Trobe in Melbourne, we have many, many courses and seminars being provided to the PhD students. I'm seeing a tendency to see the same 15 to 20 faces at each one of these, despite there being over 400 first year PhDs here. Sure, we're taking a lot of time out of our early research, but we're learning lots of things that I'm sure will save us time and stress in the long run and will add to our success. Otherwise, the university wouldn't be pumping so much money into them, and they're usually really well paid. It. So don't drop the easy log off the first ball. Make sure you catch every opportunity that's hit your way. And rather than being remembered as the guy who let Grace go on for 278 for the rest of time, you'll be a hero at your local club for the rest of your life. Now, thanks for watching week one of Ant's One Minute Week. I plan to get these out every Friday, so keep checking back for updates.